So I moved to LA and I found this really irritating new agey term that I heard people saying all the time. And it was aligned or alignment. Now, honestly, I hate it even more than people talking about mercury and retrograde and that being the reason why their life hasn't worked out for them. As if eating donuts and sitting on the couch watching the Queen's Gambit wasn't the real reason. But I want to share how digging into this idea of alignment has actually given me a very important aha moment that I want to share with you. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Milk the Pigeon. If you've ever felt lost in life, this is my second book that I highly recommend. Now again, I've included a free link below this video, which is for a free journaling worksheet to help plan out and design your dream life, all right? You can check that out right below this video and that worksheet is free as well. So really in this video, what I'm sharing is five prompts or five questions you can ask yourself to see if you are really aligned. And what I've since come to learn is this idea of alignment is really about does something energize you or drain you internally? And in that regard, I've actually grown to love it because now I can think externally what I have to do as well as internally, how does it really feel? So the first question is, are you using logic to justify covering up the fact that something is not a 10 out of 10 and really exciting you? Years ago, I had a friend who was talking about moving to New York City. And you could tell almost from the way she was talking about it, she wasn't really internally that excited to go to New York City. But she kept using all these logical terms like, imagine all the creatives I'll meet and the cool people there are. The dating is going to be so much better than this small town. And most of all, it's New York, right? Like, who doesn't want to live in New York? But she was using these logical terms, these logical explanations and justifications and validations for the fact that she was covering up really that she didn't really feel that much of a pull to New York. It was just New York. So it had this aura about it. Some years later when she left, she remarked that it really wasn't that monumental in her life progress, but she felt like because it had this draw and it was so renowned for being New York, she felt like she should try it. Now, the comedian Kyle Cease in his book talks about if you're justifying something internally, then it's not actually a 10 out of 10. And I found that to be really profound. The second question or the second prompt is this thing that I'm thinking about. Is it only a 7 out of 10? So I saw this exercise online that really, really helped me in those areas of my life where maybe there's some gray area or I'm having a hard time really getting a clear decision. So what the author said was, you basically write down the thing that you want to do and you write down, are you motivated to do it on a 1 out of 10 being the least motivated or a 10 out of 10 being the most motivated? The problem is that it's the numbers in between that really get you. It's the 7 and the 8 that screw you because you'll deliberate forever and not make a decision. So what he said was, you write it out from a 1 to 10, but then you remove the 7 and the 8 from the spectrum. So it's either going to be a 6 or it's going to be a 9 out of 10. And when you use that exercise, it makes a lot of sense, right? Because should I move to New York? Well, it's like a seven, maybe eight. Well, there's no seven and eight on the spectrum. So is it a six? Which is really like, uh, it's not a good decision. It's almost a failing grade. Or is it a nine out of 10? Nine and 10, that's like green light. Let's go for it. So make a decision, put it on the spectrum, remove the seven and the eight and see where it lands. The third hack or the third habit rather to see if you are really aligned in your life is to see what your body says. Now, I was once on this date with a great girl, objectively. She was super attractive, super smart, good family, good values. Everything logically was great on paper, but my body was not that excited. It's just sweet and it was just one date and but I just, I didn't feel it. You know, I didn't feel excitement about dating this girl. And I should have listened to that because we ended up talking for just like a few weeks and I felt kind of guilty having to let her down, telling her I was so attracted, but I just didn't feel it. I don't know why I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. Thankfully, it was just one date. But have you ever gone on a date or been in someone's presence where you think you should like them or think you should like this, but that's not how you really feel? Well, your body is the more accurate compass. So if you can trust that, your body's going to really be showing you your degree of alignment with this situation. So trust that, not what your mind is saying. The fourth exercise you can use is to make a thin slice decision. Years ago when I was in college, I had to come up with a summer internship. You know, I was half environmental science major, 
half pre-med or biology major, and I needed an environmental internship for my program. Now, I was looking at local internships because I went to school down south at Clemson, and I was trying to find things down south or back in New England or maybe out west, but they were all kind of, you know, I would get in my head about them. And then my mom said, you know, hey, I found this cool internship online. It's in Fiji doing marine biology research, snorkeling in the water all day. And there was no hesitation. That was a definite yes for me. Now, the thing is, there's a lot of situations in life where you may be deliberating about something, thinking about a decision. And then for me, the number one way to know it's not something really aligned with what you want is if you pause and hesitate even a little. Do you like him or her? Well, no. Do you want to do that job? I mean, I'm thinking, no. There should be no hesitation because that is the definition of a hell yes. Now, I would say that the fifth exercise or strategy or habit you could use is this idea that I don't know really means no. So if you're going out with someone and you're dating and you're in the courting phase and someone asks, you know, what about that guy? What about that girl? And you're like, well, I don't know. Should I do this? Just stop it right there. I don't know really is a no. Should I get this new job or pivot this new career? I don't know is a no. This is frustrating and difficult for some people because a lot of life falls into the gray area of I'm not really sure. So In my opinion, treat I don't know as a no, because it's really not exciting enough for you to say, I know. And in my opinion, the two parts of your life that should sure as God be undeniable hell yeses are love and work. In dating someone, do you want to date someone that calls you an I don't know to their friends? Do you want to be in a job for nine, 10 hours a day that's, I don't really know if I like this or if it's worth it or delivers any value to the world or is meaningful at all? Hell no right? So I don't know equals no. Now, all these strategies are really talking about alignment with your emotions and your psychology. So they're really all about how you feel. And alignment is on some level aligning your external life with how you really feel. And one of the best services to help you do that is called BetterHelp, which I've partnered with in this video. Now, this video today is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the leading provider of online counseling, which is really counseling for the modern age. You can text a counselor or video chat them, and over half a million people have actually gotten counseling through them to date. Now, they have different therapists for different purposes and even different goals in life. Every counselor is licensed, and the sign-up process will actually give you some questions to determine exactly what you need so they can match you with someone. You can text, you can live chat, you can do a phone call or video chat a counselor worldwide. And the pricing for the program is monthly. So rather than per session, you also get unlimited messaging throughout. So if this connected with you guys here today, please go ahead and get connected with your professional counselor at the link below, betterhelp.com forward slash monk. All right, you guys, so check out the link down below for better help if that connects with you and resonates. And then before you go, I have two related videos on this topic here.